Hello, again I am going to explain the this NI CDEC module. So name of this NI CDEC module is 9178. It is a slot CDEC module. Okay. Uh, this CDEC module helps for data equation. Suppose you want to acquire multi-channel data from, uh, from multiple sensors. So you can use this compact DAQ module. Okay, so now first we'll see how can we assemble and how can we connect our sensor module with this CDX chassis. Okay, so this CDX chassis uh, will create a communication channel between your CDX module and your computer. So now I have this thermocouple module. This it is a thermocouple module. If you want to measure any kind of temperature, so you can use this thermocouple module. You can put this thermocouple module anywhere on this chassis. Now in this chassis, you can see 0 to 8, there is, sorry, 1 to 8, there is 8 slot, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you can place this module anywhere. This platform is completely rugged and is easy to swipeable. So you can change this module from one location to another location anytime during the runtime also you can change the location okay no need to disconnect your chassis from computer and you can connect this module and you can remove this module from your chassis now i have connected one chassis on the location number eight sorry one module on location number eight on a nine nine one seven eight chassis now it is a analog input module yes it is a current input module it's current input module here i am going to insert this current input module in location first okay in location first now i have one voltage input module so we can connect this voltage input module like this as per your requirement, anywhere you can connect this voltage input module. Suppose there is one, one more module for vibration measurement. Okay, there is one more module for vibration measurement. So Now, here I am going to connect this vibration measurement module in the slot number 3. Now you can see here, it is a power, okay. It is a power indicator, so power indicator is glowing and active status is also on. But it is not, but the system is not ready to use. Why the system is not ready to use? Because the system is not connected with any kind of drivers and programmable platform. Now, here I am going to connect my USB cable with this hardware. So, it's very easy. Just plug the USB and tie it through this screw. Clear? Now, I am going to connect this CDEC module through my PC. Okay. Now here I am going to connect it. Look at here. When I will connect this CTEC module with my PC, so automatically one pop-up window will open on my computer and that will inform us, that will give a basic information about the CTEC module is connected or not. Okay. So now I am going to connect this CTEC module. Okay. So this uh, USB protocol Now you can see automatically this device information okay and i device monitor has appeared and now you can see here cdaq 9178 is connected right 9178 is connected okay let's come into the nipx okay let's come into the ni max now you can see 
in this NIMAX hardware. You can see here NICDAQ9178 is connected. It is my virtual hardware. I am going to remove this virtual hardware. Okay, yes. Now here I am going to Okay, now here I am going to connect this one Here if you want, so here I am going to show you this NIMAX, open the NIMAX first and I am going to remove all these things. Delete. Yes. Now you can see my CDEC module is established here. If I will disconnect my CDEC module, so now you can see here, as I, okay, now you can see here the cross button is appears, okay. Now here I am going to connect. Now you can see the hardware. This particular hardware is connected. Okay. This particular hardware is connected. So you can see this. Okay. Hardware is connected. And now you can see the status. It is our active status. Sorry. Power. And it is ready. So our system is ready. Right. So now here. Now let's see how can we start programming. So before going to that, here I am going to check my power supply and sorry, my temperature sensor and others. So for that, first click here and reset. Here I am going to reset. You can reset your system. Okay, so this reset option. If anything is up, uh, if any kind of the previous program, okay, is present on the fetch memory, so you can delete that okay now let's self test self test and the reset is completed now here i'm going to select this ni929214 so where it is present in my piece now you can see here uh this one is ni92 this one is an is this one is my ni9214 this one is my ni9214 and it is my thermocouple sensor okay now it's my thermocouple sensor okay it's my thermocouple sensor. I am going to connect this thermocouple sensor with this module. So for that, I need one uh, connection modules. I need uh, these sub connectors, okay, uh, of my thermocouple module. Not here. Let's also look like this. It's not the sub. This also look like this. One more module. Uh, 